Hello Aquarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks for stopping by and let's see what your mutual energy is with your person at this in the recent past, okay? So let's see. We have the devil energy. Whoa! Capricorn! <laughs> I don't know if you know this person through work, Aquarius, but it looks as though there's something big to handle in the recent past. The current energy between you and your person is, oh, beautiful, the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. This I often see as a power struggle. You know, we see the devil is manipulating, you know, so there's some, there's something going on, but we'll get into it. Okay, so we see that your person sees you, Pisces energy, you might be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, a lot of watery energy here, but it does say that your person views your relationship as a very, very happy relationship. Uh, they see you as their happily ever after. The Eight of Swords came out at the same time, which says that they do have something to say to you, though, that they're holding back. The Eight of Swords is like, oh, I don't know what to say. And I really relate it to this devil energy. It looks as though sometimes both of you are in a bit of a power struggle in the relationship. Both of you, I think, come across to each other sometimes, at least in your partner's viewpoint. As you know, there's it's like a manipulation when we see the devil card. You know, they might feel like you're trying to control them, but remember, it is mutual energy. So, to me, it's like a silent argument. Okay, so we'll dig into the details of it. We don't want to leave you leaving the relationship reading with any questions. Okay, so the five of cups they view you as somebody who seems to be disappointed, somebody who's sad, somebody who is in a period of time in your life where you, when you're not really feeling very fulfilled. They don't especially know how fulfilling you think your relationship with them is. Aquarius, they see you as a person who's just really sort of down. The Six of Swords says that your person wants to move past some difficulties in your relationship. They want to heal the relationship. They want to move forward. Um, so it does look like there's some outside elements coming in, Aquarius, as being challenging to the relationship, and circumstantially at least. Your person is studying the situation. They're trying to figure out a solution. They definitely are watching you very closely, very silently. I would actually say they're doing research on the Internet and whatever they think the dilemma is. We see the mutual energy between the two of you, Aquarius is Leo, it's your seventh house. It really says that your relationship is quite strong. You have the infinity symbol here with your person. Uh, you know, it's sort of tattooed on both of your arms. You, you both feel that this relationship is, um, you know, you're not gonna give up on it. I don't see that happening at all. The Two of Wands means that you need to make a decision. Spirit is re recommending that you make a decision it may have to do with moving. It may have to do with the disappointment. It does look like there's a disagreement about how it's going to happen. I like the fact that your person is really looking for answers, though. I like that. That's some beautiful energy. So what is the outcome, short-term outcome, for this situation in love right now with our Aquarius friends? Let's see what we have here. The Hanged Man. Okay, so the Hanged Man energy is, again, Pisces energy. It's really about searching for answers. It's looking for enlightenment. Both of you really want change, but it looks as though outside circumstances have presented some, some difficulties for both of you. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this. And then, of course, I'm going to dig into both energies. If there's something that you need to know about your person, uh, what they're thinking, what you're thinking. So we'll dig in. Okay. So why is a devil card here? That devil. The devil is in the details, right? Aquarius, the devil is always in the details of Five of Wands. You're having um, sort of a, a conflict. This is, I think it's a power struggle. This is Leo energy. It's, um, it's kind of a little bit of sniping back and forth. And if not outwardly, then inwardly. So it does look as though you're both... You both think that you have the right idea. You both are in this energy of wanting to be right. So the Five of Wands, though, you have to be careful because 
if the ego gets too far out of control here, you know, can, it's showing that it's coming up as getting a little bit toxic. It's almost like a power struggle. One of you or both of you trying to influence the other person, maybe in not the best way. You're having a, a disagreement, definitely. Aw, a temperance card. You both want this to work out. You both love each other very deeply. You both feel as though, you know, an angel came to you when you met each other. Both of you want this to be happy. Both of you really love each other. I don't think you are always, you're not that couple that's constantly, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. You both really show one another that you love one another. You're both very dedicated, Scorpio energy. You've had a life-changing effect on each other. Oh, look at this. You've known each other for a long time, most of you have known each other for a very long time. Many of you might have been together for as much as six years. You know, you could have known each other since childhood. But it really speaks to the fact with the dog there, there is a lot, a lot of beautiful, loyal energy between the two of you. If you are domestic partners or married, I would say that, I, although I'm not seeing marriage too much, I'm getting that your partner would like to have the marital bliss card but what i'm seeing here is this beautiful energy that you would like to grow old with each other your partner feels as though the situation has something inherently wrong with it they feel as though when they view the situation they view both of you as being a little bit unable to really manifest this love relationship it's sort of like when pigs fly everything will work out I really feel your person with that Eight of Swords energy doesn't want to tell you, but they're feeling really, they love you so much. They see the two of you as being so powerful, and yet they feel as though the two of you are not manifesting what you need to manifest. The Queen of Swords energy tells me that your person is very much in a very intellectual mode, trying again to figure out answers. Oh, I love this energy. They're coming up with ideas. They're trying to bounce them off of you. They're trying to see what the two of you should invest in. And again, there you might be dealing with a Pisces because your person really is in this search for answers. They want this to work, you know. Your person really wants this to work, okay. Very, very sweet energy. I like it. Okay, so let's see why you're so sad, Aquarius. So, you know, when we see the Five of Cups, we see you just being disappointed, but this looks very much like it's about life and not so much about your person. The Death card, something did not work out at all the way you had anticipated, Aquarius. Spirit, tell us what this death card means. Why is Aquarius sad? What ended that Aquarius didn't want to see end? What is the change that Aquarius needs? Because Aquarius, it does look like you really need a change. You definitely want stability. You want to live a life that's daily, sort of a sense of celebration. Again, I'm getting this energy, Five of Cups. Two of Swords. Whatever you're doing day to day looks like you're not happy with it. It does look like it's job related, creativity related. We get the Four of Pentacles. It looks like you're feeling like, like you just can't have the life. You don't have the life that you want. You are optimistic though. The Wheel of Fortune is telling you that it's only a matter of time before it turns in your favor, and it's turning now, Aquarius. You're feeling depressed, underwater, Neptunian energy. You want equal give and take. So, Aquarius, what I'm seeing for you is that I feel like one of you earns more than the other. And I feel as though the person who earns more may be in the situation where they want to leave their job, and so it can't happen. So I feel that this is very much, I don't feel that there's any lack of love in the relationship. I think the two of you are being faced very much with the kind of, you know, sort of post-pandemic weirdness that's happening. Look at your person really loves you, Aquarius. Again, they're coming up with that deep-seated love. Two of you, they feel as though maybe you have to move physically. You know, maybe the two of you need to move forward. Your person definitely wants to, to move forward. The Tower card is reversed, so they don't think 
that this is a permanent crisis. They don't think this is going to wipe out the relationship. But they do think that right now there's not the stability that the both that both of you need. The tower reversed is the tower isn't coming down, but they're feeling as though maybe it should. That let's see what else your person feels. And we're gonna do more. We're gonna use some oracle cards here also. So let's see. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. They want a really brand new beginning for the two of you. Something that's fun. Something that feels light. Something that feels creative. Something that's spontaneous. They feel like the spontaneity has gone out of the relationship and that, you know, both of you are struggling. Look, at they see you, Aquarius, as a star that you are. So for some of you, you may be involved in, you know, some sort of fame. You might be famous. You might be becoming famous. Your person may think that you will be famous. <laughs> but the star card is a beautiful, um, loving somebody because they're beautiful inside. They're beautiful outside. Your person really holds you in such high, high esteem. Aquarius, they really do. They see you as a rock star, somebody that they didn't think they would ever get to meet. They really love you, okay? That's hopes and dreams for love coming true also. Why do we have this, why do we have this strength card here for Aquarius? Both of you are being very guarded, but you're being very zen. So even though there's some conflict and some sort of ego-driven ideas about what should or shouldn't happen, both of you are very well-intentioned. You're trying to stay calm. You're trying to stay in a meditative state. You're trying to look at the obstacles as being outside of the bubble that you're in in terms of your relationship, because the relationship itself is very strong. What do we see here? Why is the Two of Wands? Spirit is telling you to make a decision. Make a decision to be happy. Make a decision to possibly change jobs or, you know, learn something so that both of you, there's, there's a real money sort of a driven, you need money to be practical. You know, make sure that you remain friends and make your decisions together is what Spirit is saying. Let's see what the hanged man is here. Why is the hanged man here? Because I don't see a decision being made right away. The ace of coins is beautiful. It may be a new form of income. Could be a ring when we get the three of cups with the ace of pentacles. Somebody may want, your person may want to present you with an engagement ring and may not feel like it's the appropriate time. Aww, we have Leo energy here. That's all about someone who's, you're both stepping up for each other. It looks like you're both headed towards commitment, but you want to get things settled. The page of pentacles looks like you're just looking for solutions to problems. And it looks as though you feel like you're on a, what do they call that when you're going round and round and round, a merry-go-round? Um, it feels as though both of you feel really trapped and really stuck. So let's look and see what the Sacred Destiny cards are going to tell you about the situation, okay? Tell us about the devil and the dilemmas. You know, we have Mercury retrograde right now, Aquarius, so it is not unusual to have these sorts of things going on. So, what is destiny? Uh, opportunities coming in, that's a wheel of fortune. Where did we see that wheel of fortune? We saw it here, yes. This is what's coming that you do not see. This is what's not yet obvious. The wheel of fortune is come bringing in an opportunity for you. Oh, I'm so happy for you because both of you really do love each other. All right, what else do we need to know about the destiny of this relationship? Illumination. There's information that's going to come in and it's going to illuminate the things that you don't know, the darkness. It's going to really bring a lot of... Um, wonderful you have this opportunity coming in so it's going to be quite exciting the illumination is also a card that says that you don't know how or when but you're going to get that i think the lightning bolt that's going to actually 
turn the, um, this is Aries energy, it's going to allow you to change the foundation of how you earn money and the circumstances in which you're living because right now neither of you feels it's really sustainable, but you can't let go of it either. So I really feel it's a very beautiful reading, nice reading. Okay, Aquarius, what else do we have? inner peace. Oh, that's so beautiful for you. You know, this card, this Nine of Swords card is a card of worry and losing sleep and being up at night. And you are going to find inner peace with this new opportunity. Let's go ahead and look and see what the devil energy is about here. Because I don't think, you know, there's a lot of, you're really both feeling so much pressure and you both think that you have the right ideas or the right answers, and yet there's a tug of war. What do we need to know about this? Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So it does show that one party, one person tries to sort of be a little bit overbearing to the other. Now, take that how it resonates. It looks as though, but when we get devil energy, it is a power struggle in both in which both of you are trying to manipulate the situation. And that is something that took place in the recent past. You have to be careful of that energy. That's not conducive. It's toxic, okay? So don't get too ego-driven. You know, look for solutions that are all about what's right, not who's right, okay? Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So it does look as though the two of you probably had maybe a really heated discussion. And it looks as though both of you are sort of reeling from that release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go of that devil energy. Okay. So let's see also what the wisdom of the oracle has for wisdom to impart on you at this time. That shuffle didn't go so well. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, oh, Aquarius. You have Saturn right in your sun right now. And Saturn oftentimes is career-related issues. There are things that you feel are holding you back, but there are also lessons that have to be learned to consolidate and go forward. Peacefulness twice. Look at this. Really beautiful. Inner peace, okay, and outer peace. Beautiful energy. Look at this exchanging gifts. So you're going to get this relationship back on track. Look at that. The Ace of Coins says you're, you're bringing your proper solutions to the table. The Leo King is somebody who's going to solve problems, not allow the two of you. That Leo energy is going to say, let's, let's win this race together. Let's not. Let's leave that ego-driven conflict aside. Going the distance, Aquarius, I'm so happy for you. It does look as though as the month closes out that you'll be very happy with the, the results that are coming in, a new opportunity. Thanks, Aquarius. Hope this was helpful to you. Bye-bye. Sending you love. Bye-bye.